century to, for you today. How good did it feel out there? Yeah, no, it was um, nice to get some runs. I kind of think like Nick's been holding the team together with the amount of runs she's been getting, so it was nice to contribute today. And it looked very hot out there. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was, yeah, sweat coming down into the eyes, so called for the towel a few times. So, yeah, no, it was definitely hot, but, um, yeah, some sun on the cheeks, which is always nice, but, um, yeah, it was definitely warm. Um, and nice to be able to hold your fair break bat up when you celebrate. Yeah, I thought I'd kind of show the show the fair break logo there. Um, so, yeah, thanks to thanks to Sean and the team for, for giving me some gear. Uh, yeah, it's not the day for the spirit today, but into the semi-finals, how has it been to be back with this year? No, it's incredible. I think we've got really good camaraderie. Um, we've got Esther who's still back with the team, so that's great to have familiar faces, but also to have some new faces. Um, the team has got, I think we've got our celebration, we're slightly more into our celebration this year time round, and I feel like we've been playing some really good cricket, so it's awesome to be in the semi-finals. And not the wins that you wanted today, but you already knew we're into the semi-finals. Was there any different kind of conversation leading into this game? Not different not really anything different but I think we got to give people the opportunity um, so we got to give different players opportunities to step up and it was really great to see some different contributions with the bat and I have a question from Gomesh to Terry what was your mindset and the conversation you had in the middle when you were batting in the middle after those early wickets yeah we were just looking to um, kind of build a little bit there after a few quick wickets up the top um, so me and Nancy just kind of had to do a little bit of grinding in the middle there um, so yeah, we're just trying to put away the bad ball and keep it really simple and run hard. Um, so yeah, that was we just try to keep it simple. Atapatu bowled really well and she was hard to get away. Um, so yeah, we're just trying to take it really deep at that moment. Yeah. And Yaz, what advancements have you seen in the team and just in Fairbreak in general since the first edition in Dubai last year? I feel like the standard on average has really improved. Um, you've still got the big names, but I feel like you can see that the associates kind of took on board what they'd learnt from the last tournament um, and made some improvements to their batting. People are trying out new things, um, which is always a good sign. So you can see that there's definitely improvements. And what's it like for you to be able to play in Hong Kong? No, it's incredible. I've had my brother and my dad um, down to quite a few of the games. So, I mean, showing people around. So Kerry and I have been exploring Hong Kong. Um, I know the city really well, so it's great to show people um, kind of what it has to offer. I think you mentioned earlier as well, you know, the, the sun's finally come out. So I've been telling people for so long, you know, I swear it gets better. I swear it gets better. And it's nice to see that, you know, finally the sun's come out. Yeah, I didn't actually believe you <laughs> until today. I thought I'd been sold down the river. Um, so your semi-final, you're a couple of days off between now and then. You'll be playing the Warriors. How are you feeling about that one, Kerry? Especially as you found some good form going into it. Yeah, it's nice to get some runs and um, kind of hopefully we'll take that into the next game. Like Warriors are uh, resting up. I think they've got they've had like they're going to be five days off. So, um, so yeah. So I, I think it's maybe an advantage to us that we've actually played and we've only got a few days off before heading in um, into the semis. Right, so we're joined by Danny Wyatt and Andrew Guring of the Cayman Falcons. Danny, we'll come to you today. You really found some form with the bat. How did it feel out there? to sort of launch yourself into that semi-final? Um, yeah, I was just chatting to Sophia and Batesy actually, and we said how um, it's quite a tough wicket to bat on. Like, I never really felt in until I reached about 50, and I said to myself I was going to take down the seamer. Um, yeah, there's like a bit of uneven bounce, especially early on. I was a bit lucky early on. Um, and, yeah, I guess you've just got to back yourself and target the short boundaries because normally I feel like I can come down the wicket to the spinners but I feel like it's just holding a tad so I think a better option is to hit from the crease and sweep and hit the shorter boundaries but um, yeah hopefully we're on a flatter pitch for the semis um, and yeah the team are hitting good form going into the business end of the tournament. And Andrew, you picked up wickets today. Um, how good are you feeling to be back with the Falcons and to be performing so well alongside such a successful team? Yeah, I'm happy because like I was waiting for this moment, and like uh, I I have seen while well, coming to Hong Kong, I have seen that this ground is pretty small <laughs> compared to Dubai. So like it was pretty challenging for the bowlers instead of the bas batsmen. So like, and I love challenges also. 
so like I, I was waiting for that moment so like like went to ball and went to get wicket and I finally got for my Falcon teams and I'm happy for that because I was waiting for that moment um, and you're obviously our sole representative from Bhutan how proud does that make you to be able to represent your country here at Fairbreak alongside 36 other nations Oh, I'm so proud <laughs> about that because, like, Bhutan flag on your back alongside players from 36 other nations here at Fairbreak? Well, I'm so proud and thanks to Fairbreak and to Bhutan for giving this lovely opportunity to play with a lot of stars and get uh, knowledge from, there, from them and learning from them. And like, uh, uh, I saw like uh, they are more like enjoying the games, they're more giving vibes, positive vibes to us. Uh, so I'm very happy and I'm very proud. <laughs> of the that. Cayman Falcons seems pretty full of positive vibes. Um, and Danny, how much have you seen the development of some of the players in Fairbreak and mm. within the Cayman Falcons from last year to this year? There's been massive improvement. Um, Little T has come on leaps and bounds. Like her hands are so fast. Like if you bowl short to T, she'll put you in the trees, as you saw today. And um, the bowlers as well. I found it really tough to get some of the associate bowlers away. Um, obviously, a bit of help with the pitch as well. But you know, last year the associate girls would have seen what level they had to reach. You know, they by watching the international girls. And um, yeah, this tournament's just fantastic. And for the growth of the women's game as well. And um, yeah, big things to come in fair break. And so we're reaching the business end of the mm. competition. Um, you've got rest day tomorrow and then the fifth, sixth playoff on Friday, but into the semi-final on Saturday. What kind of discussions will the team be having between now and then? Yeah, we don't know what time we're playing yet, but um, yeah, we know we're playing on Saturday and I don't know what pitch we're going to be on, but we'll be having a few chats about you know how we want to play the match and what team we're looking to put out and um ultimately you know we had it's about being simple keeping things simple um like last year we had a really good semi-final so we'll take confidence from that and we want to go all the way and lift that trophy this year so i can tell you that you are playing the barmy army in the afternoon oh brilliant on saturday the warriors will take on the spirits in the morning so I guess you'll get to see the game before. Mm -hmm. Do you think that will impact your game at all? Well, yeah, it's always nice to see what the pitch will be doing. Um, get an extra lie in as well, which I always like. <laughs> um, and yeah, I really can't wait to get out there and hopefully lift that trophy this time. Um, I believe we have a question from Mohit. So do you want to go ahead, Mohit? And Shorji, hi Danny, congrats on qualifying for the semis. Uh, you all faced Bami Ami earlier as well in the tournament. In, uh, till the time you and Chamari were batting, the match <laughs> looked fully in your control. And then Bami Ami went on to win. So what are some of the learnings you took from that match and what would be the key to doing well against them in the semis? Yeah, me and Chamari were very annoyed with how that game went. So we need to get ahead down next day, next game and go all the way and um, hopefully stay out there and uh, do well for the team and um, hopefully get one up on Barmy Army this time. Uh, just a question for Anju as well. Uh, this is your second year in the Fairbreak tournament and you're getting to bowl with uh, very experienced pacers like Marizan Kaap and Jahanara Alam. So how have your interactions been? with the two of them especially and is there something in particular that you've learned from any of them? Oh, well, I've learned from Cappy like because uh, uh, like Cappy is my idol in the bowling so I asked a lot of questions to Cappy and she was teaching me a lot uh, like when there was ups and downs I asked Cappy because like 
uh, uh, I asked Cappy to this crown is a bit small, so uh, what should uh, if the like uh, ground is uh, this uh, if the ground is small, so how should I ball? Where should I plant ball? So I asked and Cappy helped me for that, and I, I'm glad and and I, yeah, I did I achieve for that, and thanks to Ata also during training time, Ata also helped me a lot.